in the picturesque town of Manikpur, West Bengal in 1953. A landlord Somitra Roy Chaudhary, Barun Chanda, goes to watch a Jatra with his daughter, Pakhi Roy Chaudhary, Sonakshi Sinha, an aspiring writer. After Pakhi has an asthma attack from the ensuing excitement, she is rushed to her room and given medication. As she recuperates, her father comforts her and narrates the story of the invincible king of the Bheel tribe whose soul resided inside a parrot, telling her that she is the parrot within whom his life resides. Uddharan, one day, after threatening the family driver into letting her drive the family car, Pakhi accidentally bumps into a motorcycle on the road, mildly injuring the handsome young man on the motorcycle. A few days later, the same man shows up at the door, introducing himself to the landlord as Varun Srivastav, Ranveer Singh, an archaeologist who wants to study the land surrounding the temple that the landlord owns. Over the next few weeks, Varun charms the landlord and his daughter with his knowledge and persona and is invited. Along with his assistant and friend Dev Das, Dev, Mukherjee, Vikrant Masi, to live at their expansive mansion. Uddharan. Soon, love grows between Varun and Pakhi as they bond over art and literature. Pakhi confesses her aspirations of becoming an author, while Varun reveals his desire to paint a masterpiece. Their love soon culminates into a passionate affair. Meanwhile, an act passed by the Indian government debars the power of landlords, causing tension in the Ray Chaudhary household. The ancient artifacts the family owns must be sold, and Varun helps arrange the purchasers. Uddharan, as Varun's stay comes to an end, he asks Ray Chaudhary for his daughter Pakhi's hand in marriage and preparations of their wedding begin. Before the wedding, Varun's uncle A. K. Bajpai, Arif Zakaria, who raised him, arrives and discourages Varun from marriage, stating that Varun will only give Pakhi grief because of the danger of what he actually does for a living. People like them are not meant to fall in love and have normal lives. Varun is conflicted but agrees and makes his choice. He and Dev escape that very night, along with all the valuables they stole from the landlord. On the wedding day, Varun is nowhere to be found, and it is discovered that the idols from the temple have been stolen and the currency notes from. The purchase that Varun arranged of the family's artifacts are all counterfeit. In the second half of the film, the story shifts to one year after the incident at the wedding. A sick Pakhi now lives all alone in Dalhousie, with her maid Shyama, Divya Datta, as her only company. Her father has died, unable to bear the shock of betrayal by Varun, and she still hasn't recovered from her heartbreak. When Police Inspector K. N. Singh, Adil Hussain, asks her to help him catch Varun, she refuses to do so, wanting only to forget him. Soon after, Varun and Dev turn up at Dalhousie for their next heist and stay at a lodge on Pakhi's property. Things turn ugly when the police get wind of their whereabouts and a chase ensues. Varun inadvertently kills Dev and a police constable and is wounded in the encounter. He removes the bullet and then goes to seek refuge in Pakhi's house. Pakhi and her maid try to turn him over to the police. But he threatens them. Pakhi gives in, but she is nevertheless enraged and repels Varun's comforting advances and explanation. In a letter, she explains to him that she is dying of tuberculosis and will die the day the last leaf falls from the wilting tree outside the window. Her maid leaves the house promising Varun that he wouldn't be reported to the police. Uddharan Chene Varun plans his escape but when his accomplice comes, he refuses to go, and instead stays behind to take care of the sick Pakhi. He tells her his real name, Atmanand Tripathi, and confesses that he has regretted letting her go since the day he fled. Soon, Pakhi warms up to him and her faith remains intact when each day she finds one last leaf remaining. On the tree, 
Uddharan. In the end, seeing Paki's condition improving, Varun decides it's time for him to leave. And he takes off, only to come face to face with a police blockade on the road, who proceed to shoot and kill him. Paki wakes up to find Varun gone. But the tree still has a leaf on it. She becomes suspicious and discovers that the leaf has been affixed to the tree by Varun. Every night, he would tie it on a branch of the tree so that she wouldn't give up hope. It was his masterpiece. Paki realizes the truth after she looks at the leaf closely and sees that it's been painted upon. And she smiles with tears in her eyes.